post-match press conference, and Richard said it doesn't really feel like it. It seems had 50 points, but I'm is, is pro really proud of the effort. Is that how the boys are feeling now? Although obviously disappointed. Yeah, I think I think we're you know first of all we're disappointed in in the scoreline. It's uh, still a 50 point um, defeat, but I think the manner in which we played and the spirit within the group. I think even though we drew last week, I think we won't acceptable from from the playing group last week, and although. Sort of outwardly on the scoreboard, it don't look like it, you know. But we, the young boys and 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 the, and the experienced boys, all you know, we all um, played together today, and and you know we've got a big chunk of our team out and wanted to come here and equip ourselves well, and you know let's not forget that sense. We've got you know superstar team, and um, we was in it right to the last 15 minutes, and I think as probably Rich said in the press conference, I think if we all stick together like that and, and put the effort and, and desire in that we did in that performance, um, we won't be too far wrong. I think in terms of the game itself, I think it was 20 18 at one point when Saints got that next score, that's probably when it, it got away from us a bit, but to be in the game after an hour, not many people gave us a chance of that when they saw the players that were out in the week, did they? No, no, and that's probably a little bit of disrespectful to the young players that we've got. We've got every confidence in right, right across the squad. There's no hiding in the fact the quality that we were missing. Um, it speaks for itself, um, but it gives some people, uh, some young boys and some experienced lads who aren't being played um, an opportunity to stand up and I think I thought they really did, they added loads to our side and I'm really proud to captain side today and one of those uh, occasions where um, you know everyone was trying their hardest and, and that never that never stops, you know I think ultimately in the end a little bit of quality um, and you know a bit of X Factor, Johnny Lomax were, were outstanding um, but as an effort I can't really knock it. I uh, don't pick on individuals, but, but Chris Anakin was one of those young lads. He's his fourth or fifth game, I think, in a row now, 50 minutes in the middle of the field. He, he sort of epitomised the effort of, of the team, didn't he, with his performance? Yeah, he definitely did. And it's, it's some of that. Um, he's taken his opportunity with both hands. And, you know, it's heartening as a, as a senior player and um, seeing a young lad get his chance and, and keep his shirt. It's all about keeping his shirt. You know, you've got that shirt for that week. And if you do a good job, um, Rich is um, loyal enough to, to pick whoever's in form. And he certainly added a a lot to our side uh, in a tough position you know it's not it's come in and it's a physical position and to back it up week on week out uh, against quality packs as well um, I thought Vince Mellor's had a big game as well he's, he's been in and out and been had a real disruptive pre-season and I think um, he played majority of the game if not 80 minutes and really ripped him for us as well so I think um, a lot you could you could probably pick out two or three more but um, you know as I said really proud of the boys.